Today our broadcast is all about proteins, cell studies, DNA and medical forensics. Welcome to another edition of Analytica TV with bioanalysis and genetic analysis as our keynote themes. But before we introduce you to some groundbreaking innovations presented by exhibitors, we'll talk with Professor Domde, Managing Director of Bioclusters Martin Reed. Thank you for joining us. How is the sector doing? The sector is doing very well. You can see that in the exhibition halls here at the Analytica. There are a lot of exhibitors who are clearly having lots of discussions and hopefully doing good business. What trends have you been able to identify? The indications are that everything is becoming digital. There's a strong collaboration with the IT community. It's all going in the direction of information technology. This, of course, means new ways of working, new efforts, but I believe we're on the right path. Thank you for your input. Now let's see how robots will in future be involved in examinations done in genetic labs. Robots will in future be deployed where extreme precision is required and where there is a need to repeat procedures almost without limit. With the robots, the customers can have automation, but with the flexibility of a manual workstation. They can set up procedures using the robot prior to commencing production of a pharmacological product and before investing millions in a production line. When it comes to the mega trend in the sector, next generation sequencing, KaiGen offer a module combining DNA sequencing and PCR. This enables much faster recognition of genetically related illnesses with examination time in the laboratory dramatically reduced. We want to be able to propose standardized workflows and with the assurance that the result is really the right result. With the Vantage Liquid Handler, Hamilton are presenting an automated platform for the production, separation and characterization of genes. The effort involved in the lab is greatly reduced, with many manual steps in the sample preparation and examination eliminated. For speedy cell analysis, GE Healthcare showed the Cytel. With this fluorescence microscope, it is possible to observe in real time how the cells interact and what development cycles human cells are subject to, and it's really easy in operation. The profits for the customers are that the Cytel is easy to use, very intuitive, and you can use ready-to-use uh, assay kits to speed up your analysis, and even the non-imaging expert can use it on a routine basis. The Fraunhofer Institute has developed a cancer diagnosis method giving fast confirmation of the presence of cancer proteins, so-called tumor markers. Magnetic beads given fluorescent antibodies latch on to the targeted proteins, the magnetic field pulling them to where they can be seen under light. The concentration of the light provides evidence of any presence of a tumor marker. What is special with this technology is that we have the possibility of a very rapid diagnosis. We seek to be present in the point of care and the high sensitivity analysis areas. This means for the patient a very precise examination of the blood sample and thus a very sensitive and reliable delivery of the evidence. Forensics are cool thanks to television series like CSI, but how does it really work? What is the science behind it? That's what I'm going to find out at the live lab. I'm at the live lab with Dr. Regina Zaum, who will tell us what's going on here. Hello, Peter. What's Mama doing here? We can easily simulate a DNA analysis based on the certified conditions of a forensic laboratory. Tell me what you need. Nail clippings, hairs, you can have them from me. A hair would be good. Help yourself if you can find one. And what happens now? Well, I've put the hair into this little tube and it goes into the device. Turn it on and then we wait. How long do we have to wait for a result? About 30 minutes. And what can I read from the result? The outcome will be an analysis of your DNA 
And that we can compare with the DNA from the scene of the crime. It will tell us whether you were at the crime scene or not. I certainly was not there. But this here is all quite real and live. Dr. Marcus Baumgartner has new ways of detecting the presence of drugs. At the conference, he spoke of methods of tracing drugs from hair and fingernail samples. Long-term monitoring allows the consumption of drugs and medications to be tracked over time. Blood or urine samples are not suited for the process. Samples of nail clippings or hair are used. The results are relevant, for example, to abstinence controlling. We aim to deliver an exact analysis of the consumption pattern in order to give the medical practitioner enough information to diagnose an addiction or to confirm abstinence. In this context, it is not important what we want or what we can. It only counts that we are absolutely accurate, giving analytically impeccable evidence for or against a drug or alcohol consumption pattern. The spectrum of themes and the huge growth in the number of participants underlines the significance of the Analytica Conference. The Analytica Conference is today one of the most important conferences in the context of the analytical sciences, not just in the German-speaking world, but across Europe and increasingly worldwide. We see that the number of participants from beyond the frontiers of Europe is constantly growing. That's all for this year from the Analytica 2014. We've been able to confirm that the innovation in the sector is continual, that the role of automation is increasingly significant, and that robots truly have their place in the laboratories. Most important remains the fact that labs, research institutes and manufacturers must cooperate closely to meet the challenges of tomorrow. Thank you for watching our shows and we hope to see you again in two years' time.